Hey everybody, this is episode 5 of Frostpunk. You didn't think I was going to make it this long? Don't worry, if you don't think so, you're not the only one. I certainly had no clue I was going to last this long, uh, let alone two episodes. <laughs> uh, Frostpunk has been a very interesting game. It's uh, very micromanagement, uh, building, survival, um, everything I'm bad at. Uh, this I've made it five episodes, so... Uh, last episode, we got presented with a major choice, which route we're going to take, and we're going to go ahead and start that this episode with deciding which route, and uh, see what unfolds after that. Last episode, we discovered Winter Home was destroyed. That was the only settlement we thought was going to exist, and now we're alone in the world, this frozen wasteland. Uh, everybody wants to bail and leave, and we are going to give them a focal point to... Basically, a stepping point that they can thrive and live off of and try to guide them down a path out towards survival. So we'll go ahead and figure out what we're going to do, make that choice this episode, and see what happens. Anyhow, here's Frostpunk. All right. So we have to choose our path. Um, of course, everybody's afraid since Winter Home has been destroyed. And so it gives us two choices with a nice little background change that we have over. Order and Discipline is going to give us a new set of laws for order. Faith and Spiritual Strength are a new set of laws that will gear towards faith. <sighs> I'm more of an Order and Discipline kind of guy. Um, so yeah, it'd be easier for me to figure out. So I'm going to try that. Book of Laws. Purpose. Neighborhood Watch. We need to mobilize and stand together to help people in need and protect them from troublemakers. Alright, alright, alright. We said purpose. Neighborhood. Can I just select that? There. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. At least I have a certain amount of time. All right. So, what were we doing and where are we at? So, oh, that's right. I was upgrading the house. Hopefully, that'll be a thing. Watchtowers. How do I build a watchtower? Order. Watchtower. 51, 5 still. Got enough of that. People working near watchtowers protected by the neighboring neighbor service watchmen so they feel safer and more home. So. Okay. Tear down one house, so put it there. Then we want to upgrade another. Oh, oh, yeah. I know dismantling was going to take time. Come on. What is this? Yeah, I'm convinced one of you. So you're convinced the majority, but hope is low. A group of our people are still scared they want to flee the city for London in 15 days. They come to try to change your mind. You say or will say it was nonsense. I'll try to reach London and the way winner. I'm down. Your people are divided. Some of them are so scared they plan to leave the city for London in 15 days. Try to convince others to join them, praying on the discontent. Fear may lead people to desperate acts, maintain peace, give people hope, and manage your discontent to get the city safely from social crime. 
Look at that discontent through the roof. Alright. So let's go ahead and get these watchtowers. Little children, I didn't know there'd be so many homeless. We figure that out. Hey, them. <laughs> what then? All right. There's so many homeless. And wait, what? You wait on. We're doing something. Here we go. Oh, sorry. People. <laughs> Tower.
All right, so I built two watchtowers. Hope rises, but we gotta keep people from wanting to leave. I guess we're going back to London. But I thought we left London because it was, you know, die or whatever. Uh, gotta try to feed people. Oh, that's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get... I don't know what's up with that. Where's the... have storage. Where is it producing? It says it's right here. That's what. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. One. This is then for me. Jeez. Okay. All right. Now we're back. Okay. That makes more sense now. So bad. What else? Oh, hey. Pools are kept from freezing by a hot spray deep in the ground. Passive party lichens cling to the rock. It's a good place for a hideout. Near the freshwater springs, we meet some refugees from Winter Home. They are a sorry sight. They seem to be completely unmoved by the fate of their city. Ask what kept them from starving. They look away and mumble about eating lichens. So we can get back. Then we're back to our city. Send them back. Let's see where we can go. Snow cliff. Hold on, and it's in habitat. We can see a wooden figure about. Small grove of several dozen trees. Look there. Hey, trees. What's this? A child climbed with a generator, slipped and fell, but was thankfully caught by a neighborhood watch member. He then asked where the child does mother and gave them both a good talking. Could have ended with a broken leg or worse if the watchman did that. Glad it did. Oh, oh. So I can hope we go. Is that? Leave this cold snap and I want to do. What's taking so long? Oh, this. Wait. Oh. Okay. We can do that. Too. What can we do next? No, we need the factory. Where's the factory? What do you do for fact? 25 steel. You don't have 25 steel. So we need to get steel. Those holes. Okay. 
Let's see that one. So we're set up. I'm done stressing for now. <laughs> I'm going to end the episode here while I'm uh, on a good note. Alright, well, I know that was a quick episode. Um, only about 15 minutes. Um, but it's getting late here and I need to get to bed soon. And um, it's been a lot of fun. We made it through the big pivotal point. And uh, we got everybody back on a copacetic level where I feel like we can at least manage it now. We got people traveling back in while we have our scouts out discovering what happened to the world. And uh, I think it's it's going to get better as we go along. Things are progressing. Uh, it's the research that's killing me. I don't know if I can. I'm going to look see if we build another workshop and research more things faster. But um, until next time, this is Average Gamer. Thanks for watching. And uh, never said I was good. Just a little average. See you next time. Bye.